were brought up on on carts, bikes, you name it, anything with an engine. Uh, Dad, that was our father's greatest love, and it turned out to be ours. But he won virtually everything in Formula Ford, and, uh, and then went up to Formula Three and did pretty much the same thing, really. It wasn't totally love at first sight, but I, I liked him very much. He was racing in Formula Atlantic. Um, at the same time, he was invited to go and see um, Walter Wolf by um, Frank Williams. I first became aware of Tony Price, I think it was towards the end of 74, I began to do quite a lot of winning in, 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 in Formula 3 and um, met up with him, talked to him. He's a very quiet individual, but clearly very talented. And um, pretty obvious that he could be very good in a, in a Formula 1 car. When he got into our car, he was very quick. He'd raced in Spain for Frank Williams and actually had had a really good debut. He finished seventh. But he also had the chance of a Formula 3 race in, at Monaco. He was going to win the Formula 3 race there. And Alex Ribeiro admits that he deliberately blocked him. And of course, Tony ran over him and that was the end of those two. Whilst I was in the pits, Graham Hill came into the pits and was watching and I was quite excited seeing this, thinking, oh, he's watching Tony. Um, and afterwards, I think Graham had some talks with Tony, and uh, that's how it all came together. But as soon as he got in the Embassy Hill, suddenly here was a car that had very rarely shown any form. And this kid was driving it with all the panache of a Mario Andretti. He was right on the pace, and he was really quick. And suddenly, Graham Hill realised that I can now retire. I've got a guy in my car who's way quicker than I am, who's got this talent. Future looks pretty good. Tony Bryce's car is driven for him to the starting grid by Graham Hill, just retired. They were quite alike, I, I think, in many ways. And, and um, I think Tony looked on Graham as, as a, a bit of a father figure, really. At the end of that first season, we, everything was going so well, and um, he just um, then signed the contract for the following season. and. Um, all set. We were all set to go, go places. And the test at Paul Ricard, um, that was just supposed to be for two or three days. Tony just said to me, you know, you don't need to come, you've got plenty to do, Christmas shopping and so on. I'll be back in a few days. When, when they all started to get on the plane, everyone was really chipper because they'd had a good test. Like I say, the, the car was showing progress. Graham was going to a dinner party that night, at, or having a dinner party at his house. Everyone was really happy with the way things had gone. They'd got the sponsorship for the following year. The car was actually quite good. So it, it was a very optimistic um, group of people that climbed on that aeroplane that night. Tony was due to come back on the Sunday. He had a British Airways ticket um, to come back. I wasn't expecting him back till then. Well, you got the news flash on the, on the television, didn't you? Yes. That's, that's the first we heard about it, really. Yeah, well, not the way to hear about it, no, was it? No, not at all. They'd heard that a, a plane that had crashed at um, Elstree and told me they thought Tony might be on it. It was like a pack of cards. We'd had such a wonderful life together and um, it was like the whole pack of cards had just fallen, fallen down and you know, gone. And uh, it was sort of, what do you want? What do I do with my life now? You know, it's just completely gone. Yeah. It was such a cruel stroke of life to for this to happen, for him to be uh, taken out of his prime, really. After all he put into it, all those years, the years of hard work and um, with his father. Oh, I don't suppose he would have changed it. It was what he, he did what he loved, didn't he? So, oh, yeah. yes, that's the only thing you can think about it. Yes, he, he did. He, was, he got to the top of something he really loved doing. I'd like Tony to be remembered as a very warm, kind-hearted person. Um, he was very special. S extremely gifted, charming, and could have been a world champion. Definitely.